Yeah, I think like of course we are still new restaurant first year. We have been working a lot, so it's always good to get something for the team, the rewards of the, the hard work. And I think the first year for us been nice. Like we got the first Michelin star, Hong Kong Tatlet, the top 20 restaurants, and then this one. So it's amazing for the team, and we keep working for better results for next year. Yeah, it's the same. Uh, as we are not, op we are just open. No, less than a year, but we can get this award is really a great for for us, and especially we also get the Michelin star and the no contest at the top twenty restaurants. This is really really good for us. It's uh, it's a kind of achievement, but uh, we are looking for two thousand nine to do much more better. And the first we have the tuna, uh, we have tuna from Nagasaki and served with uh, fruit tomatoes from Hokkaido and some candied kombu seaweed, give some sweetness, a little bit malty flavor, some dark sugar from Okinawa and also the shape we make a little bit like the heart. So uh, to pair the wine with the very famous one of the produce, uh, Puni Mocha Super Biku from La Carneon, uh, Domingue Lafayette 2015. Actually, uh, for the wine, is with a lot of ripe and citrus fruit, and it gains some for textures, and for textures, it's brown and creamy with a very balanced acidity and a lot of mineral flavor. And to pair it with the sauce, the creaminess to make it balance with that, and the mineral to enhance the flavor with all the combinations. This is a really good one. It's my, my favorite, the langoustine. So we, but for Valentine's Day, we did the special dish. So we combined that with beetroots. So I, again, the, the red color theme. Some organic beetroots from Fukuoka. Some candied and fermented rosella. And some the mini rose. Some edible flowers from Finland. Uh, akasu, this is like red rice vinegar. Emotion. So and um, for the wine that we're preparing from, that one is the other very famous wine that is go very good with that. It's the uh, Bohumane La Chamay from Domingue Mille Camuset, 2012. It's, uh, actually, this vineyard is really special. It's just located next to La Touch, and you get a carrot out of La Touch carrot, but, but not too much. Uh, you have a lot of ripened red fruit with a lot of floral, light rose flavors. And especially you have a touch of mushroomy and earthiness that would go very well with the beetroot. Especially because in 2012 you have slightly uh, fresh acidity. The acidity to balance with the sauce is really much better. Some of the people they will think uh, the langoustine with beetroot should be pairing with uh, white wine, but the sauce is actually quite deep and delicate. So I changed something different, something a little bit innovative to pair with the wet wine. And the dessert, strawberries, now best season in Japan. So of course that is a perfect match for the Valentine's Day. Something fresh also after the full menu. So we have the sobe made of the fresh strawberries from Fukuoka. Inspirations. Once we use lots of the Japanese product, so the plating is also like the Japan flag. And for the wine that I'm pairing is actually the Riesling, which is from uh, Feltheim Road, from Bernalbert, from Central Otago, New Zealand. Uh, the most why I we pairing this wine, especially because it is based on Japanese strawberry, he have the very good freshness. But uh, to pairing the sweet wine, sometimes if you choose the food, if the f sweet wine is too heavy with a lot of sugars, that will overpower with the things that we have. And this strawberry is really delicate, so I choose something is much more slightly sweet, but with a lot of citrus with the balance. Is actually that one you have around 70 grams of reduced sugar inside. That seems like the German Leihafer's wine. It's really good to go about that. 